All right, so let's take a look at the views. So I'm gonna go into the views folder and we like to organize views into their kind of sub areas of the website. So you can picture a website that has a whole bunch of pages. You wanna keep it kind of organized about which views go with in which folder. And so within our views folder, I'm going to create another folder. And then for now, I'm gonna do this on purpose. I'm gonna name this blah. All right, so that'll be, just remember that we named that folder blah. And then inside that folder, I'm going to right click and say add. And then the item that I'm gonna add, I'm gonna say new item. And in here, I've got a whole bunch of different options. We've already looked at some of them, JavaScript files or whatever. But we have these options, razor page and razor views. Now, sometimes students get confused on this. A razor page will maybe use later on at some point. We won't use it right now it's got its controller built into it. And so there's this kind of new way of doing things called MVVM, which is models, views, and view controllers. There's there's no, uh, or sorry, MVVM, models, views, and view models. There's no controller in it. And that's because the controller ends up being part of the view. We're not gonna do those for now. For now, we're gonna stick with MVC, and so we'll use a razor view rather than a razor page. And you'll notice that the extension that we see on there is a CSHTML file. The CS is that we've seen already is a C sharp extension typically. And then we have HTML, which we know that that extension for HTML pages. So this is a mashup, it's called razor code. It's a mashup of C sharp and HTML. And uh, we can drop C sharp code in the middle of the HTML to have it do certain things. And we'll be doing a lot of that throughout um, these videos. So CS HTML file, and I'll, I can name it whatever I want to, I will call it index since that's kind of what we're gonna translate from, right? And so it starts with a notice, they'll typically start with a capital letter. And uh, I go ahead and click add there. And it's gonna pop in this index CS HTML file that I can see now. And um, it has as a default in here, these at signs and the asterisks. And this is where we can go in and put um, inside these print or these braces, we can go add C sharp code. And so, um, and we can add it in the middle of the HTML as well, but our HTML typically wouldn't go inside of there. That's just where we, um, if we're doing anything at the initial uh, part of the view to get it set up or whatever, then we can do that inside um, these uh, braces. And this is just, uh, you can do it two different ways. So we'll, we'll experiment with it. Don't, don't worry too much about that for now. All right, so this is our index CS HTML page. And so I can go into our index.html file and I can take all that code from this file, I can do a control A and copy that and drop it in below those uh, curly braces into my view, because this is going to be what's displayed is all this HTML. All right. Now, just so we don't get confused, I'm actually gonna take out now this index HTML page. I'm gonna delete it. Um, so that when we run this app, it's we're not gonna think it's, it's pulling from that. And so uh, I've gotten rid of that file. I've copied all the code that we had in it over to this file. And uh, so we, we should be set that way. And I'm gonna save this and try running this app now. And that was not what I expected. <laughs> Let me try this again. How is it still pulling up that file? Interesting. Um, Cause we don't have any controllers in here yet. We are using static files. Index.html, let me try this again. So if I say index.html, I have a feeling it's cached. There we go. And now when I run this again, that's pulling up the cached file. But you, but you can see that it can't actually see the file there anymore. It's gone. Uh, let's make a change just to prove this. So I'm gonna come in here and say in the body 
paragraph, this worked. And let's see if that change shows up. And it does not. And if we go in and clear our browser history, so let me go into the history and uh, remove, there's all my history of things I've been looking up. I wanna go see the Doobie Brothers. Um, <laughs> so stupid. Okay, let's delete the history. Clear now. The images and the sites. All right, so then I try this again and it shouldn't be able to find it. So let me run this again. Just to prove that point, it's not there anymore. All right, so we need, it's not seeing the page anymore because there's nothing telling it to go to that page. We need to have the program uh, connect with, um, in order to generate this page now, we have to put it together with the controller working with um, what we call our endpoint to point us to the right place to get us to this code to be able to generate that page to send back to the user. Again, this is no longer a static page. This is a dynamic page that's gonna be built on the fly in the moment as it's needed based on the information that we give it. And so uh, what we need next is a controller and we'll do that in the next video. Spencer out.